It's time for sports with KTC's Mike Carter. Well, following a 15-2 loss to Louisiana Tech last week, in which Cajuns pitcher Austin Perrin gave up six runs in just two and a third innings, Cajuns coach Tony Robichaux spoke about the need for Perrin to focus in on better locating his pitches. He'd get a chance to do just that tonight against that same Tech team he struggled against just six days ago. It was a different story tonight for Perrin against Tech. He goes eight innings, giving up just one run and five hits with three strikeouts. And what else was different tonight? Well, how about the defense? Last week, Cajuns gave up 15 runs. Tonight, look at this play by Daniel LaHare as he lays out for the out. Top seven, it's a 5-1 game when Monroe Mole gets the RBI single here to make it 6-1. And the Cajuns go on to win by a final of 9-4. Louisiana is now 11-4 on the month of April and will return home tomorrow night to take on New Orleans at Russo Park. <laughs> Well, after falling out of the top 25 for the first time since 2011, this week LSU baseball gets back on track tonight with an 8-0 complete game shutout by A.J. Labus. Next up for the Tigers, a trip to Oxford for a three-game set against Ole Miss beginning on Thursday. It's high school baseball playoff time in Acadiana with a slate of games taking place tonight, including some pretty remarkable upsets. We'll start in Class 5A, Houghton at Lafayette. Top of the first, Lafayette pitcher Corey Bellot. Well, he's in trouble with the bases loaded. Already two runs in for Houghton, but Bellot is able to stem the tide with this huge strikeout to keep the deficit at just two. Bottom of the first, Lions get their chance now. Connor Simon pops it up to right, but Houghton right fielder bobbles it and drops it. Simon is safe at second, and now runners on first and second for Brennan Broussard. He'll chop it to third, but the throw to second pulls the second baseman from the bag. Lafayette has bases loaded 